Well, hello there, folks. That might have been a bit loud, I'm sorry. Uh, I figured today we're going to do Spooky Swamp, because I've technically already started the level. And I mean, climbing into this accidentally last time, I had a little sneak peek preview of what I had to do. There's a cat hair. Why'd you... You let your hairs get everywhere, cat. Where is she? Oh, she's asleep. So I don't really know what to expect entirely. But there's only one way to find out. And... Today, please. Game. Ta-da. We have... Zero out of four. Yes, hello, Sparks. Zero out of four candles. It was a gem. I don't think we can swim in the swamp. I, I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> Looks like we've got to save this little guy. There we go. I've done my uh, my good deed for the day. <coughs> Excuse me. I've done my good deed for the day. That data was mean. I thought I was a goner. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. Why is the text now? The text is now gone into the center. That's odd. Is this where... I can't remember what it's called, but like... Um, something to do with poetry, where like you speak in three short verses. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't actually know. Well, there's one candle lit. I can't remember what that thing's called. I might have to look into that and find out. Oh, hello, Rhino, dude. You can't be charged. You're massive. Don't laugh at me. I was just trying. Don't antagonise the gators. Not a good idea. I get very angry. Whoa, where did you come from? Are you supposed to be a mosquito? Yes. Yes, I think you are. That was a little lobster, dude. And apparently... I heard on the radio the other day that jellyfish and lobsters are immortal. Their body and cellular structure dictates that they cannot die of age. So I heard anyway. I mean, and see, this is why I listen to the radio, because they always put weird stuff on. Stuff that you never normally hear. Well, I've never heard that before anyway. I mean, it, other people might know. Especially you uh, biologists and, and sort. But me? Nope, not a clue. I think there's a candle up here. That we're going to have to light up. Aha, there is. So that's two out of four. Do we need to light the candles to stop it from being a spooky swamp? Leave the gators alone. Stop antagonising them. I put some crocodiles in my, uh, in my planet zoo. I've been playing Planet Zoo a little bit, and I put some crocodiles in one of my exhibits, and they're really cool. So, I now want these ferocious rhinox to leave the poor gators alone. Well, alligators, crocodiles, you know, it's the same thing. Why do I believe that destroying all the signs is a skill point? Oh. Uh, piranhas! Yep, see, they're gonna hurt me. Whoa. That was strange. Well, there's an egg here anyway. It's Michael. Hello. Standard T-pause. Right. Let's keep going. I believe we probably can go in the water. Just to what degree, I don't know. And he actually got me. They're very snappy boys, aren't they? That's alright. Luckily, this lobster's here to save my life steal his youth. Like that, that, that lobster fact, I, I, I say, I, it might just be a lot of rubbish. Them talking, talking on radio, but I don't know, I thought it was rather interesting and I can sort of see why it might be possible. Oh no, 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 no. Not Mr. Mosquito, dude. Please don't be angry at me. Got him. Did he drop a gem? I think I picked the gem straight up. 
Be careful. Piranha infested waters. Oh god, it's money bags. Ah, that gator again. Leave me alone. How do I get to yonder egg? Maybe I have to fly on the trees, but I don't know. Let's see what this faith wants. Or he steals me. Steals all my this money. This door is jammed shut. Only the power of gems can hope to move it. I'm sure just shut. Haiku. Your haiku poetry stinks. So that's what I... So that's what it is. Haiku poetry. I see it. So I, I thought I was right. No, your haiku poetry stinks. You've made a wise choice. It will mean more eggs for you and more gems for me. Best of all, Spyro, I can stop speaking haiku. What a sweet relief. Okay, then. Why can you now stop speaking haiku? Maybe that's just the rule of this land. That's a very interesting waterfall. That looks cool. <coughs> oh. I feel really coffee today, I don't know why. He was pushing me. I've said it before, it's, it's every time I want to record, I end up with a cough. It's not cool, man. Oh, it's ten gems. Your haiku poetry stinks, money bags. That's right. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even see him. Hello, Firefly dude. You are brave, dragon. Much braver than I by far. Here, take this darn egg. <laughs> that was uh, simple, to say the least. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Return home. Not yet, my friend. Because first, hello. With all lamps are lit, there is a secret in here that I will show you. <laughs> I don't understand this haiku poetry. Oh, it's Sheila. We'll pop back here shortly. I believe there's like um, I believe there's a point to it. But what exactly? I don't know. No, so I don't understand how these things just float in the air like that. So that's three out of four. So where have I missed one? I can come over here, and maybe this is how I get to that mysterious egg. Well, that's how I also get in here, I guess. But, you know, I guess I just not paid attention. Open the door. I would create a haiku of my own. But I honestly have no idea how to do that. No idea what I'm doing. Um... Yeah, let's go over here because... Can I, uh... No, piranhas! Piranhas, piranhas! Okay. What's in this secret door? It's just a portal. Where does said portal take me? Oh, hello. Oh, it's a mini boss. He's a sleepy rhinoc. <clears throat> Do I have to headbutt them back at him? He's a magical Rhinoc dude. Ah, okay. This is a cool little mini boss. I don't actually remember this. I really don't remember this. If I, if you play Spyro Year of the Dragon and you remember this, please hit me with a comment. Because I don't remember doing this at all. It looks like he has like a nightgown on, but I suppose it's supposed to be like a wizard. I suppose that's because he was depicted sleeping. Oh, is that an extra life? That is an extra life. Please, we're up to 19 lives. That didn't count, I missed. Go on, give me a magic. Now that is a magic power and a half. You can just summon alligators. Yeah, he looks like he was yawning when he threw that. Can't tell if it's supposed to be a nightgown or wizard robes. Probably both, to be fair. Oh. Goodness. Come on. Yep, he's stretching, he's yawning. He's not really bothered to just casually throw the bomb. There we go. 
Sorry, my dude. Tucked in for a long slumber. Hey, that's cool. Ta-da! Nice backflip. I didn't even see the name of that dragon. Sorry, folks. Um... Right, there we go. I'm gonna pop into Sheila's section now. This swamp smells so sweet. The springtime trees are fragrant. I'm off to kick butt. <laughs> no, Sheila, not even even you. How can you be infected as well? It's not haiku poetry, it's a haiku disease. Everybody but me and Spyro have succumbed. Oh, hello. Oh, he's got fancy goggles on. We have the bombs here. We must destroy the egg cage. But we just go boom. Kangaroo can help. You can clear the path for us. Will Sheila help us? <laughs> yes, I love your freestyle haiku. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. Okie dokie then. I assume I have to clear his path. Right, yes, that does make sense. Can I actually keep this going? Is there going to be something else in his way? If he's following the path, that means this is... Wait, where are you going, my dude? Uh, no wonder you just go boom. I went boom again. Big rocks can be kicked, they say. Mushrooms must be stomped. No more haiku, please. We will be waiting when you... Right, okay. Let's just have a little collector fun first. Ooh, hello. That's a 25 gem, I think. Let's have a, a wander around. Maybe I can get rid of all the rocks first. That might make things a bit easier. Although, someone tells me they're going to come back. It's the mushrooms that seem to be the issue. No, these little escort missions. That looks like a breakable wall. No, it's not. It looked like it was. So I assume he was coming to this egg cage. I missed. Try again, Sheila. There we go. Quite a few gems in this segment. It feels that way at least. Right. Yeah, see, look at all these mushrooms over here. So, that mushroom I'm going to have to stomp twice, I think. Oh, no, they've got to come here. Right, okay. He was just having a weird roundabout circle. Guy just fancied taking me for a run, that's all. Right. Gems, 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 gems. I think I might have them all. Sparks seems to be pointing me back to the entrance portal. Oh, no, to that gem there. That's where he's pointing me. So I wonder how I get that. <coughs> Excuse me again. Right. So I wonder if them gates will open. Let's have a look, see. We have the bombs here. We no, 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 please, no more haiku. Yes, it's bomb. I knew there was something up from the moment I spoke to the first guy. Right, I'm gonna prepare myself on the mushrooms. Like so. Because I think you get a decent. Yeah, you get a decent length of time on them. And then he's going to come back around to this one. So I'm fairly certain he is. You can't exactly tell which way he's going. Pop up quickly. Quickly, come on. Wow, I can't believe that works. That was because he was technically on it. He's going to hit it. Oh. You silly firefly. Right, let's try again. I think for that mushroom, I need to wait until he's as close to it as possible so that he can actually get through it twice. <coughs> B 
because then if he can get through it twice, then I can just concentrate on the second one. The second one, the one straight after. It's never the rocks that were the issue, because you can just go and clear those out, so... Alright, let's wait until he's close. Like, no! There we go. Now go over here and wait for him. I think he's just gonna go straight up here to this one. Yeah, that's right. Go and put your bomb down. There we go. Peggy! Oh, he's got a big crack in his glasses. What a shame. One egg cage remains. Will you now help my brother to free the last egg? Help his brother out, yes. To clear my path, I can blow up the egg cage. Poor, poor captive eggs. Yes, of course. Yes, no more haiku, please. You're right. I like how they actually have different voices. I'm gonna say, why do I feel like he's coming into this mushroom? Where's he going? I'm just going to stomp them anyway, just so they're not in his way. Because I don't know where he's going. He's going round in a full circle. He's coming back. He's going to walk into these things, definitely. No, maybe not. Ah, oh, really? How can you predict which way they're going? <clears throat> right, let's try again. Come on. I'm sick of all your poetry. So he didn't actually run into anything then. Did he? Or did he? I can't remember. He just dodge straight past it. And this one just goes straight past it. Just ignores them. Except maybe not this one. Ah, right, okay. So I did have to change that one. But then he just... I don't know, I don't remember. I think he did just ignore them. But then it's this one over here. Right, and then I have a feeling. Yeah. What, really? Was it really that simple? Wow, okay. Stomp out two mushrooms and the guy's home. Home free. Hey, it's Michelle. Um, okay then. The eggs are all free. Two dragons are born today. She loves my heel. Okay then. You're in your strange poetry, man. Alright, so how do I break open these doors? Little bomb dudes. Could have saved your bombs and helped me, couldn't you? But oh no. God forbid that would be too much. I've not been checking if you can... Can I kick that wall at the back? It looks like a very different colour. <clears throat> now I see that, I feel like that's what I can do. So hang on a moment. Yeah. That's how you get that 25. They can't get through that one. So I've got one egg and a few gems left. I think Sparks is pointing me to the portal, so let's go. Yo, hang on a minute. Guess what Sparks is showing me? Something that I definitely missed. That was sneaky. Oh, I've missed more. I suppose it's a good job I checked, really. Oh, that is damn sneaky. Can't see. Ten. Still. Another one? Goodness gracious. I have not been paying attention. Look at that. And now you know what? I was thinking to myself, when are they going to bring like, the high jumps in? 
for Sheila. They've got to bring that into a degree in every segment, right? Surely. They did in the last one. Well, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it this time. There we go. We're back at Sparrow. Uh, so we've been in there and beaten the boss, dude. And I want to go back up here. Because I think this is how we might get to the egg across the treetops. I don't know for certain, but we're going to try. Oh, hello. Careful, careful, Spyro. Ah! There's a key. But there's also a dragon egg. And it's Frank. Why, why with the bounty dragons again? Right, six out of six eggs. Where be me gems? Right, I don't think I can make it over there, but let's try anyway. Nope, not quite. Right, so I need to go back over here. Uh, I don't, I don't know which one to go for first. I'll go this one. Is there anything behind that? I don't think so. I kind of, I feel like that is the boundary of the level. I'm not gonna make it. Nope. I need that key. Hang on. <clears throat> right, I maybe would have been able to make it to the key, but instead I fell in a gap in the tree. How very interesting. And that's the third time I've killed that lobster. But I need another one. Sparks is poorly. Right. Right, we've got it this time. We've got it this time, Spiral. You're not going to walk through the gap in the tree. We're going to jump over it again. Right. See, there's a gap there. That's what I fell through. Goodness. Game's out to get me. Right, okay, we've got the key. That means I can go and find a lobster friend. There we go. Um, bear with me. Destroy all piranha signs. I had a feeling that was a skill point. But I believe I've missed one. I believe I've probably missed more than one. No spiral. There we go. The chest is here. Nice chunk of gems. Oh, and that is every gem. There's a piranha sign there. Please be the last one. No, it's not. Okay. Where's the hidden piranha sign? Okay, hang on, hang on. Whoa, scary, scary. Don't be in the water. I feel like I got them all. Then again, to be honest, I don't really know how many there were, so I can't... I can't really say that. I feel like I've got them all when I'm not to know how many there are. But I feel like there can't be many more. Because I have been breaking them as I was going. Ah, that's probably the culprit. There we go, and there's your skill point. Oh, your piranha sign's broken. Right, let's get out of here. Ooh, nice reeds. Very high quality. Stay away from the piranhas. Okay, out we go. And there we go, folks. Spooky Swamp 100% complete. And not to drag things out, plain and simple, I'll see you in the next episode and we're going to do Bamboo Terrace. Yes, that's right, I've already decided. Let's go check it out. But I'll see you then. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.